only person that you know, that you know that you know, that woke you up this morning, yeah. that took you from Sunday to Sunday. Yeah. And if you even think about your story, ain't no way in the world you would have been able to be here today to still stand and don't look like what you've been through. Just give God some praise in this place. Is anybody glad that your story is changing? Anybody glad that, hey, perhaps your story has already changed? There have been some things in your life that has knocked you down, but God has stepped in and changed your story. Hallelujah. Oh, come on, everybody, just stand to your feet. For this is the day that the Lord hath made. Hallelujah, we ought to rejoice and be glad. Anybody glad this morning? I mean, anybody just really glad, excited, happy to be in the house of the Lord, just giving God praise. I am glad. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. We are back in the house of the Lord. That's enough just to give God praise if, if nothing else happens in this service. We've made it to the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. Join us in prayer, if you will. Most gracious and eternal God, our heavenly Father, this morning, God, we are glad. God, we are grateful and thankful that today we've made it to the house of the Lord. Today, God, we are declaring this place, a place where you dwell where you abide, God, where your love is shown today. God, even in the homes of those who are viewing virtually, we're declaring today that it is the house of the Lord. God, today have your way in this service. God, we pray today that someone will leave here, God, feeling better than when they came. God, we anoint this service and put it in your hands. In Jesus' name we pray. Come on, let's put our hands together and give God some praise. Hallelujah. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. It is so good to be here with you on this beautiful morning. Hallelujah. Today our service 
yes, we'll be somewhat different, but we know there is a word. There is a message from the Lord. Somebody say amen. 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 Hallelujah. I'm going to go ahead and give a few announcements, and then I'm going to get out of the way so that we can continue with this worship. Amen. 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 Really, really quick here, a few announcements for this week. Just a reminder, we do have our evening Bible study via Zoom. Uh, please tune in at 7 p.m. Uh, as well. This week on Thursday, we will have a food pantry distribution. We are now having it every second and fourth Thursday from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. And we are looking for volunteers. So if you are are looking to volunteer, support, and to help. And I know we say it, uh, we are the loving church with the big heart, and this is one way that we all together can show love. So go to our church website, click on Food Pantry, and then click on Volunteer Now, and you'll be able to select whatever job available that you'd like to uh, participate in on Thursday. So please do that, that we might be a blessing to the community. Amen? Amen. And on Saturday... Men's Fellowship Ministry, they will be hosting a Zoom, a Zoom entitled Military, Military Stories Never Told. Military Stories Never Told, and that will be at 8 a.m. via Zoom, and it's open to everybody, all right? Everybody, male, female, boy, girl, young, old, lottie, dotty, and everybody. So please, please tune in and just be blessed by that. Uh, you can tune in and get the link on our website as well. Now a message to our high school, our college, our master's and PhD graduates. Please, please email your graduation information, which includes, of course, your headshot degree received, your college that you were attending, and future plans to youth ministry at fbcsouthhill.com. There is a deadline, and that is June the 15th. June, if please mark your calendars, get that in so that we can then celebrate you on Sunday, June the 25th. Amen? Amen. And now a reminder to students as well, you have until May the 28th to submit your applications for scholarships. All right, this is an opportunity for you to be independent and be mindful of your own well-being. This is an opportunity for us as a church to give unto you that you may continue your future endeavors in education. Everyone who's, uh, who does submit an application will receive something so your efforts uh, will not be in vain. Amen? So please, please um, submit your application for the scholarship. Next day, v Vacation Bible School is July 10th through the 14th. And we are yet still looking for volunteers. Please email youthministry at fbcsouthhill.com. Uh, just a reminder as well, we do have our prayer call every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, 7 a.m. with Minister Green. Please tune in. You will be blessed. And as well, still looking for volunteers in the various ministries. We are back in church um, and, and as you can see, the seats are being filled, and so there is a work to be done. Amen? There is a work to be done, so please be mindful that there are opportunities for you to volunteer and show the love of Christ. Just stating that as well, please note that indeed we are having more individuals to attend the services, so we are getting a little tighter uh, in the service, so please be mindful and show the love of Christ as those who are asking, can you please scoot over just a little bit so I can get in on your row? Please, please be mindful that we are First Baptist Church, South Hill, the loving church with the bit heart. Please smile and, and scoot over or do whatever. We don't have assigned seats. Let's just be mindful of that, that, you know, it is first come, first serve, but, be, but do it with a smile. Can we just do that? Amen. Amen. Thank you all. Thank you all for, for being shown enough First Baptist Church South Hill members. Amen. Amen. That concludes my announcements for today. At this time, I will ask if Reverend Dozier will please come now with an announcement. Can we just give her a hand clap of praise as she comes? Amen. Amen. Good morning, First Baptist. 
I'm afraid of my own voice. <laughs> I, for those of you who don't know, I am Reverend Barbara Dolgia. I am president of Extended Hands Ministry. We are a group of three, Nellie Woodbury, Dee McClam, and Reverend, well, I'm, no, Minister Rodney Green. And we are one of the ministries established by Reverend Tolliver. We were established in February of 2010. Some of you don't know who we are because you haven't had contact with us. But if you have had a deceased member, we have made contact with you. So it's very, I don't want to say we are limited, but usually we get a notice when a family member has passed and we reach out to them. And also I wanted to say that we originally was, well, put it like this, we're under bereavement, grief and bereavement ministry, but because that was so heavy, we wanted to make it light. So we called it Extended Hands Ministry. See, we wanted to be able to extend our hands out to those who are grieving. And so on that note, just to give another little tidbit of history, we started out with a support group. We had one support group a month and that was in the evenings. But we realized that there were some people who were older and couldn't drive. So we started to have a support group once a month after Bible study. And that all, of course, as you know, ended as the pandemic came in. So needless to say, some of our things have been put on the, the back burner. So to get to the point, you know, never put somebody that likes to be in the background come forward because you don't know what's going to come out their mouth. <laughs> but I just wanted to say I'm relaxed now, okay? I'm relaxed. So I want to extend this invitation to you. We are going to have a congressional memorial service on July the 8th at 11 o'clock. During the pandemic, so many families lost bereaved members and they were buried at uh, well, they had gravesite services, and also they had um, services at a, a funeral home. So what we want to do is to open up the congregation so that we all have that ability to come together as a group. As what, is, what does our, our, our slogan say? I'm testing you. Doing life together. Amen. So we want to do this together. It doesn't uh, mean that, uh, that you had someone, a lost one during the pandemic. It's any lost one that you had that we're going to celebrate life. We're not going to celebrate um, anything else but celebrate their life. We know they're gone. We missed them. But we're going to celebrate how we were together as a group, as a family, as a friend, however way that um, people came into our lives that are no longer here. I feel like doing a little more talking, um, Reverend Davis, but I think I'm going back to my assigned seat. Thank you very much. Amen, thank you, Reverend Dozier, uh, for that announcement. As well, one final announcement that I would like to make, uh, the Seniors Ministry of uh, the Golden Vessels will have their annual spiritual enrichment retreat here at the church on Saturday, June the 17th, beginning at 10 a.m. There will be exciting speakers and soloists. A luau lunch will be served at 12.30 p.m. Prizes and entertainment so we're asking that you please sign up online. The event is absolutely and totally free. So you can come out, be blessed with music, entertainment, as well as food for free on June 17th at 10 a.m. Uh, lunch will be served at 12.30. The event is free. Register early because seating is limited. Seating is limited. Attire is any bright colors, any bright colors Luau experience. Amen? Amen. So please keep that in mind June the 17th. And now that truly concludes all of our announcements. I ask that you would please govern yourselves accordingly. We will now move into our
time of giving. Somebody say it's offering time. Yes, it's offering. Let's get excited about it. God loves a cheerful giver. Can we just put our hands together and let them know that we're excited that we can give back to him a portion of what he has given unto uh, us. You know, many of you have already uh, given via your cell phone, your tablet, online, or perhaps in the receptacles here as you entered. We do not collect it during the service, but if you're just entering now, please, uh, you can deposit those as you're leaving the sanctuary. But if you would, please now bow your heads with me. Dear Heavenly Father, God, today we thank you for this moment of sharing, this moment of being able to give unto you, God. You've blessed us over and over again. God, now you've given us an opportunity to give back such a small portion, a tenth of what you have given to us. So on this day, God, we give freely and we give happily that your kingdom will be blessed. In Jesus' name we pray. And everybody, everybody say it, amen. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. At this time, as I stated earlier, the service will be somewhat different on today. We just have a, a few ministry moments that we're going to share, and we know that in, in those moments you will be blessed. I'm going to read a scripture, so I'm going to ask if you would please stand. Stand with me, and I'm going to go ahead and let you know right up front that uh, this is a lengthy scripture. So if uh, your feet hurt, your back hurt, just grab hold to the back of the pew. <laughs> See, I'm, I'm going to give you enough scripture today for the, to make up for the moments when you didn't, didn't read during the week. Huh? And give you a little extra for this week. How about that? We're going to go now to Ephesians 5, verses 22 through 33. Ephesians 5, 22 through 33. Subtitled, Marriage, Christ, and the Church. It reads, Wives, <laughs> submit to your own husbands as to the Lord. Oh, that's important right there. Uh, for the husband is head of the wife. Don't get ahead of yourself, fellas. There's more to come. As Christ Hallelujah. As also Christ is head of the church. And he is the savior of the body. Therefore, just as the church is subject to Christ, so let the wives be to their own husbands in everything. Husbands, love your wives. Just as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for her. Fellas, you got to be willing to give yourself for her. Hallelujah. That he might sanctify and cleanse her with the washing of water by the word. That he might present her to himself a glorious church. Not having spot or wrinkle or such anything but that she should be holy and without blemish. Yeah, fellas, you got to make sure she looks nice. Uh, Y'all better listen here. I'm preaching already. So husbands ought to love their own wives as their own bodies. He who loves his wife loves himself. For no one ever hated his own flesh, but nourishes and cherishes it just as the Lord does the church. For we are members of his body, of his flesh, and his bones. For this reason, a man shall leave his father and mother and be enjoined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. This is a great mystery. But I speak concerning Christ and the church. Nevertheless, let each one of you in particular so love his own wife as himself and let the wife see that she respects her husband. Come on, everybody, say amen. 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 You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. 
Hallelujah. At this time, we will now turn this portion of the service over to our ministry in motion, our praise dancers, after which we will have a dramatization. Come on, can we just bless God for them as they come?
Did you see that game last night? Man, I can't believe the Lakers lost, man. Yeah, you know what? We need to go to the game. I'm going to the Norfolk State game because the Lakers let me down. And it looks like Boston has let me down too. So guess what? Don't say anything. I'm skipping church today, so I can't take pictures. Okay? Yeah, but we can get there. I can take some pictures of the game. We have a good time. Yeah, Trey, just come on down. Yeah, okay. About 15 minutes? That'll be fine. Who are you talking to? Uh, uh, um, uh, my boy, my boy, Trey. Uh, uh, wait, we, you going somewhere? We, 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 go, we going to the game. Okay, tell Trey you're calling back. Trey, um. <laughs> come on by, Trey, come on by. Okay. You, you, you going somewhere? Yeah. Oh, oh you going? Sit down, sweetie. So what makes you think that you can go out and enjoy this marvelous day and leave me here babysitting these kids? Babysitting? They're your kids. <laughs> it's not considered babysitting if they're your kids. I just want to get out and have a breath of fresh air. Hmm, sounds nice. But if anybody is gonna go out and enjoy this beautiful day and this fresh air, it's gonna be me more, it's okay. Sit back, hon, sit back, mm-hmm. Sit back. Do something with yourself. Do something with these kids. My God, I'm going out. I'm the one that deserves a day out to get spied and wooed. Do something with yourself, Morris. Talking about you going out with, with Trey? You going out with Trey. That's the best you can do. Going out, shoot some pictures at Norfolk State. You graduated 52 years ago. They tired of you, Morris. You going with Trey. Don't nobody at NSU want to see you in the world, Trey, you better find somebody else to go play with them kids, boys. Go on again. some way. Another day. Good thing she didn't slap me upside my head this time. Mm -mm -mm. I don't know what I'm going to do next. Is that you, Trey? Come on in. Morris, Morris, what's going on? What's going on? How you doing, Dre? Look, I'm out there blowing a horn and calling your phone. You ain't even picking up. I'm out there waiting on you. What's going on? Hey, how you doing? Wife ain't letting you out again? <laughs> well, she had, you know, something to do, and I had to stay here with the kids, so, mm -hmm. you know, some, some mm -hmm. wifey things to do, so. Mm -hmm. Kids, okay. Anyway, look, so uh, I'm trying to see what you're trying to do this weekend because, you know, down at the convention center, they got this car show going on, you know, and I'm trying to go down there and try to see what the latest model is, you know, because I'm trying to get me a new ride, you know, so I can chill, you know, so you going, what's up? Mm, um, oh. Maybe, maybe next week, because I think she has something to do. Next so week. I have to be with the kids. See, that, that, that's what I'm talking about. How come every time you want to do something, you don't do it, and then it has to always be something to do with your wife? What's, what's the problem? Look, I ain't trying to be all up in your business. I'm just trying to find out what's going on. No, no, whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait a minute, Trey. I may not, may, well, you may not have a wife. You may have a girlfriend. But let me just tell you something. Happy wife, mm. happy life. Mm -hmm. Unhappy wife is a lot of strife. So, I just know. But that's what's wrong with you fools today. You don't know that. Look, I'm just trying to help you out. I mean, I'm just trying to figure out who wearing the pants in your family anyway. Oh, come on, Trey. Come on. Don't, don't do that. Don't go there. Don't go there. <laughs> well, look, look. I know I'm going to do me because I ain't got no wife. And I'm going to have my fun. So, if you want to go, just let me know later. And I come back and scoop you up. Good? Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Let's see who wearing the pants in your family. <laughs> Talk about me and my wife. By the way, these kids are quiet. What y'all doing back there? Oh, you know what? We having pizza again tonight. Get ready. Here comes daddy.
Okay, yes. See, yeah, Sierra, yeah. Yes, yes. I think she wants to come. Trinelle, yeah, she's gonna be coming in, so just have her come on back. That's fine, that's fine, yep. Let her come on back when she comes in. That's, that'll be great. All right, thank you. Whew, let's see who's coming in today. First. Come on in, come on, is that First. Trinell? Yes, I was expecting you, come on in. Yes, yes. Come on in, Sister Trinelle. Hey, how, how are you been doing? Come how on you been doing? I've yeah. been doing great. You want to see me? Yes, oh, have okay, a seat. okay, yes, okay. Have a seat. How you been? I'm just blessed. I'm blessed. That's how are wonderful. you? I'm doing good, doing good. Yes, ma'am. How about the kids? How the kids doing? You know, they're doing wonderful, on the road, in sports. And, wow, that's you know, awesome. Morris doing him. You know, I can't complain. That I is cannot awesome. complain. That's Perfect awesome. family. How about, so Morris is doing good too, right? Yeah, you know, I can't complain. You can't complain? I can't complain first. I oh, can't okay. complain. Let me tell you about this man first. Okay. Let me okay. tell you. Do you know <laughs> the other day, this man sent 24 red roses to my job? Oh, my God. 24 first. 24. To, didn't even know they was coming. All Ooh. the women in the office, they was just looking. Oh, she got, oh, she got. Yes, ma'am, I do. I let them know I got a good man. Yes. And he's mad. And you can't touch him. None of y'all can touch him. <laughs> Keep your grimy hands to yourself. Ooh. You know, I told him. I that's know you my did. man. That you is, know, I did. Hmm. That's excellent, Trinelle. You know that, is ex that is wonderful. You know it. But, Trinelle. Yes. You know, have you reciprocated any of those kind gestures or anything that he's been doing for you? You know, what have you done for him? You know, how are you all as a couple? Okay. You know, how is your relationship Okay, going? yeah. Okay, so where is this coming from, First Lady? Where, where is this coming from? Everything is fine. I just say, everything is fine. He oh. takes care of the lawn. He takes care of the house. He can, I have no complaints. No Ooh. complaints first. Everything is fine, okay? Everything in my house is fine. That's good, but... Yes, um, yes. But have you? Have you... Um, have I what? First, have I what? Have I'm sorry. you... You know what? You know what? Just sit on down. Have you, have you been doing any complaining? Uh, first... I have nothing to complain about, okay? okay? I don't know what is going on. I don't know why you coming up with this thing that something is wrong mm -hmm. in my house, but nothing is wrong, okay? okay. You have a wonderful day, no, okay? No, 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 come on back. Sit down, sit down, sit down. You know, you know, you want to know where I'm getting this from? If you, if you must know. Please tell me first, because I... If you must know. Um, Brother Trey came past, and he thought that Trey. maybe... Yes, Brother Trey. Trey. Yes, Trey. 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 Yes, Brother Trey. Trey don't even go to church oh, first. What in the it, world? It doesn't even matter. How it is first in my... Okay, all right. It doesn't even matter. You know, he is a concern. For, I mean, he is... He is a good friend, mm. and you know, he didn't mean anything malicious. Mm. He didn't mean any harm. You know, all he was trying to do was, you know, offer you all some help. You Trey. know, he just felt like it was something that's going Trey. on, and you could use some help from us. Trey. Yes, Trey, Brother mm. Trey. Mm. Brother Trey. We should all have a friend like Brother Trey. Trey? Yes, Trey. Uh. <laughs> okay. Mm. Well, first. Mm -hmm. I, I do appreciate your concern, you mm -hmm. but my husband and I, we're just fine, and you and Bishop are just fine. Mm -hmm. So we're going to, you know, I would appreciate if you just allow us to do us, mm -hmm. and I'll continue to pray for you and Bishop, no. okay? All right, you no, have no, a no. wonderful day, Ms. okay? Trudell, come on back, have oh, a seat, Lord, come on first. back. No, thank you first, no, thank you come first, no, thank you first. We okay, you just want to? Just have a seat, Trudell. Oh, Please first. just let me talk to you just for a few. All right, you first. know, I didn't mean any harm. You know, I wasn't trying to offend you in any way. And you know, if I did, please forgive me. All right? You know, we as women, I'm going to sit down with you. Okay. Thank first. you for sitting down, calming down a little bit. But you know, we as women, can you, can you look at me? Mm -hmm. Look at me, yes. I'm right here. Thank you. You know, we as women, we oftentimes, you know, I know that for one, it's something going on. You know, and I may not be the one you want to talk to about that. And I get it, and I understand. But just know, Trinelle, we as women, you know, oftentimes we look at the leaves on the tree, but we never really get to the roots of the problem. You know, when we get to the roots of the problem, that's when we start seeing a change happen in our homes and mm -hmm. in our relationships. <clears throat> you know, we're all human, and we all make mistakes. So it's okay, you know, to admit that we may not be perfect, because we aren't perfect. Mm. But you know, Trinelle, 
My door is always open for you. You know, you don't seem to be really happy mm -hmm. about talking to me right now. But, you know, a lot of times that's what happens. We need to start talking to people and sharing. And that's when change will happen, Trinell. You know, Bishop and I are doing a series with our couples. And we would love for you all to come. We meet the second and fourth Friday of every month. Mm. So please try to make it. You know, we're talking about vertical marriage okay and vertical marriages a lot of times we often take this horizontal approach you know we talk to our sisters and mm. our friends and our parents our mothers sisters all of that but it's not until we begin to take that vertical approach and we begin to take our problems and talk to God about them mm. that we'll begin to see a change Trinell. Mm. so you know if you would like to see a change in your life in mm -hmm. your relationship mm -hmm. then you need to pray to God, and you must first make the change. All right. Is it something that you... All right. Thank no, you, no, first. No, thank Chanel, you first. Come on back. Come All on right. Back. Wait, thank wait. you. But before you leave, you know... All right, first. Would you allow me to have prayer with you? Before I don't think so, no first. Prayer? I don't no. think so, oh first. God. No prayer? No, you're going to talk to Trey. Oh, my God. Trey in here oh talking God. to my first lady. Why are you all up in my oh. church? Trey don't even go to church. Why is he in my church talking to my first lady about my business? Go talk to Bishop. Bishop and First need to talk to each other. I don't need to talk to nobody about my business. Ooh, I just don't understand, you know, these people, you know, these young people, they just need to understand that marriage is sacred, Lord. I just don't understand. She's just, ooh, Sweetheart. You know, I feel, ooh, Sweetheart, is everything so... okay? What's going on? I heard this... the loud noise, and do I need to call security? Yes, you might, you might, but look. <laughs> No, it's okay. It was uh, Sister Trinell was in, and, you know, I was just trying to have a conversation with her and, whew, you know, just talk to her about some things. But Sounds like she's ooh, got she you really upset. Hear. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. yeah. Sister Trinell. Yeah, it's just, you know, this is serious. Marriage is serious. Yes. And people must take it that way. It's serious. Well, I know that these relationships can be tough. Mm -hmm. And in a time like this, when they don't want to listen and they can't, listen to any sound reason. I think all we can do is just give them the best advice that we can and we can pray for them. Okay. So can we pray with them? Pray for them right now? Yes, that would be great. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we just ask that you just give our sister Chanel some guidance. Give her some hope that she can believe in. Help her through these tough times and let her know that we are just here to love on her. I pray for our sister Chanel and every relationship, every couple, mm. all the families. And I just pray that your love continues to keep them safe. It's in Jesus' name we mm. pray, amen. 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 Sweetheart, I know it's going to be okay. I just trust God. I know it's been a long day, mm -hmm. and I just have a few more things I need to do. Okay. And then when I get done, we're going to get our stuff, and we're going to go home. Okay? Okay. I'll just all right, I'll be right back. Look over some things and do some things. Whew. Bishop, Bishop, I see you getting ready to go for the day. I was just wondering, could I, you know, talk with you for a few minutes? I promise it won't take long. Oh, sure. Bro, Morris, good morning. Good morning, good morning. Come on in and have a seat. You know I always have time for you. Thank you, thank you. So, Brother Morris, how may I help you? First of all, let me just tell you about that sermon today. It really touched home. It talked about a change, and lately I've been thinking about getting a change in my life, change in my family's life. So, it really did something. So, I appreciate that. Thank you. Well, Brother Morris, it is truly a blessing to be a vessel that can be used by God to spread the good news. I'm just so glad that you were able to get some spiritual nourishment that can help you along the way. So tell me, how can I help you? Hmm. As a man, have you ever been embarrassed that you appear to be weak? I mean, even my brothers, my cousins, my friends, they don't look at me the same way. Hmm. And I don't know what to do. And it could be the brightest day outside, but I'm walking around in a fuzz, in a haze. Mm -hmm. I need to know, how can I maintain my masculinity without giving up my manhood? 
Wow. Brother Morris, that's heavy. I have to say, a lot of men worry about that phrase, am I so-called man enough? They just want to be respected as a man. So you're not the first. What most men don't realize is that real men, they give their weaknesses to the Lord. And they allow him to be their strength and burden bearer. Is there a reason why you ask this question? Seems like you have a lot on your mind. Well, I haven't been showing my strength. And lately I allow people, a person, to take advantage of me. And I don't want to fight back because I know I'll probably end up in jail. <laughs> so I don't know what to do. And I don't want this to affect our kids. I don't know what to do. Hmm. Well, you know, Trey did stop by my office last weekend. And Trey. Trey said... Trey? Trey who? What's Trey got to do with this, that nosy Trey? He don't even go to church. Brother Morris, please, please calm down. It is not Trey's fault. Please, Brother Morris, have a seat. Trey. He didn't provide any details, Brother Morris, because honestly, he doesn't want to get into your business. Trey is a good man, and I know he hasn't been coming to church He's still a work in progress. He just came to my office and said that he thought that there was something seriously going on. And as a real good friend, he just wanted to help out. So, are you willing to provide the details that he couldn't? Man, I just don't want to seem like I'm a soft guy and like a weak man. Weak? Weak? No, Brother Morris. A weak man would not have the strength to come and knock on my door. Now that we're sitting here at this table, about to have this discussion, it takes a strong man. So I don't see a weak man sitting in front of me. I see a man that's strong enough to seek help. Let me just tell you, my wife, Janelle, she puts her hands on me on a regular basis. She abuses me both mentally and physically. And I can't fight back because if I do, I will end up in jail. Yes. And it wouldn't be fair for me to treat her mentally like she treats me because then all of a sudden, guess what? The children will see it. And I can't allow that to happen. So I don't know what to do. And above all, I can't allow the children to see what's going on. Brother Morris, listen to me. You have to decide if this relationship is taking your safety, your health, your mental stability. Most importantly, what about your children? No one deserves to be abused mentally or physically. If you're serious about fixing your relationship, then what the two of you need to do is the two of you need to come together and seek God's counsel. Starting there is where you lay the foundation. Once you lay that foundation, then you'll see the change will happen. But there's a different approach you could take. You can decide to walk away from that situation altogether. And no, I am not a proponent of divorce. 
but I'm also not a proponent of abuse. I will support whatever decision you and Chanel decide to take. But what you need to do is you have to tell me, what do you want to do? What is your heart telling you to do? Well, I do want to save our marriage. But you know what? We haven't had this conversation. It's a conversation we're going to have to, we're definitely going to have to have. You know what? I think I know what I have to do. Yes. Change is going to have to happen. Okay. I think I know what I have to do. Thank you. All right. I appreciate it. You're Thank so you for welcome. your time. You're welcome. Lord Morris, I'm going to pray for you. Father, right now, we just pray that whatever decision my brother has to make, that he make it as he is seeking you. Yes. That he make it so that it is a decision that will protect him and his family, that will keep them safe. I pray right now for this family. For it's your love, Father, and your guidance that I pray upon their lives. Protect their home and keep them in your will. We thank you for this conversation and we thank you for this discussion. So right now, I just pray that he's uplifted and he's encouraged. So when he, we, he leaves here, that he leaves here knowing that you would never leave him alone. Yes. So it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you. God bless you, brother. Thank you. I know there's going to be a change someday. We just have to keep praying. God is going to make a way somehow. All this that's going on in the world today, just got to keep pressing forward. Keep pressing on. Sweetheart, I'm ready. Oh, you're back. You're back. Yes. That's wonderful. It's been a very long day. Yes, it has. And I am ready to go. I'm just going to, I'm not even going to take any of that. I'm going to leave all that here. Get that tomorrow. All right. Yes, okay. Let's go. I'll tell you, that's something. <laughs> Marriage is hard. It is. You know. Well, we just take it one day at a time. Yes, you know. We have to put in the work, you know. Yes. We put in the work to make ours work. We surely did. We've been through a lot. Yes. We're still together. I don't know what's wrong with his mind. He better hold on to me. Mm. Oh boy, he thinking. I don't know what he thinking. Yeah, I done prayed for my man. I'm good now. Uh huh. Gonna come in here smelling good. Ain't nothing burning this time. Okay. Yeah. Think we good? Yeah. Oh. Trinell. Oh, hey, babe, hey, uh, yeah, mm, mm. Hey, sit down, sit down, I want to talk to you. Want to talk to you. Okay. Yeah. So, um, um, I know, you know, things haven't been right, and, you know, I, I just been tripping lately, but, you know, I can do better, and I'm sorry, okay? I'm ready. Do you think you can... Stop putting hands on me? You think you can stop doing that? More, yeah, hold, I can't hold, hold, hold. wait. Do you what think you can stop seeing that boyfriend of yours? Yeah, that boyfriend, I know all about it. Forgot all about MySpace and Facebook and everything. You're all up on that with him. You think you can stop doing that? Do you think you can huh? stop spending all that money I'm trying to work extra jobs to pay the bills, and you spending all the money. You think you can do that? Of course I can. I can. I 
can't, I can't, I can't. I got promise. I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry. I'm going to do better. You're my man. Well, you know what? I love you. I do. I love you. I'm going to do better. I'm cooking. I'm cleaning. Morris, I'm going to you know do what? better. I talked to Bishop today. <sighs> Wait a minute. You talked to Bishop? Why you got Bishop all in our business? Lord, I first telling me today, oh, you know, I talked to Brother Trey, and Brother Trey, Trey. said... Trey? I haven't said anything about Trey. Huh? What's Trey got to do with this? Huh? Mm-hmm. Huh? Anyway, you know what? If it's one thing I believe in, <laughs> I believe in my God and my family. Yes. Yes. I pray for you every day. I pray for our family every day. <laughs> But you know what? I believe in patterns, <laughs> not apologies. But I'm sorry for real this time. Not apologies. For real. <laughs> but you know what? <laughs> I have to look out for our children. Right, let's just be together. <laughs> I've thought about this. Here you are. What is this? Is I'm asking you for officially for a divorce. A divorce? Yes, a divorce. You want to divorce me? Uh, yes, I think it's best for us. What, what I do you mean I you my... want to divorce me? You want to divorce yes. me? You want to divorce all of this? My how dare you talk about you want to divorce after 18 years? Morris, you talk about you want to divorce? You gonna live with the kids? What about our kids, Morris? You know what? I should have went up your head. I should have hit them a little bit harder. I sure should have. What you mean you gonna leave me, Morris? What do you mean? How you gonna leave me? After all this time I done put in you? All this time. All these years, all these kids. All both of them. All right. I'll come back and get the kids. I can't believe you. What's about the boys and me? I'll grab my stuff. I'll be back for them. Are you serious? Yeah. Hey, you said, you know what? You know what? Go on, because you'll never find See. another me. You will never find. Take it off and say stuff. Take your kids where you go to. Make sure all y'all go. Go find Trey. Talking about you going to leave me. I'm the best thing you ever had, Morris. You will never, never tell Bishop, tell First Lady, tell the deacons and the deaconess too. Tell me you will never. They know what's up. Then you will never, Morris. I'm the best day you ever had. I'm right oh, here cooking crazy. and cleaning. You coming in here telling me you divorced. Oh, then I ain't even ready. How dare you, Morris? Should have hit you a little bit harder. Time out, you leaving me.
blessed wheel Then I go to my brother And I say, brother, help me please But he winds up knocking me But I know a change gon' come. Oh, yes it will. Come on, let's put our hands together. For indeed, if we want a change to come. You see, for so long, individuals have looked at marriage as just a union between husband and wife. They've entered into this relationship as if it were just a contract. Yes. You sign the documents. But marriage is far more than a contract. Ah, uh, marriage is a covenant. Marriage is a covenant between husband and wife and Christ. And if the change is going to come in our homes, in our families, in our marriages, in our community, then we need to go back to what the Word says. The scripture that I read hallelujah to love one another as love your wife as Christ loves the church when we begin to think vertically in the relationship when you begin to take everything to God he'll not only draw you two as individuals closer together but he will draw you closer to him somebody today I pray that somebody was blessed by this dramatization on today that somebody was encouraged today and, and you saw in this setting today where it ended in divorce. Today I'm going to pray for change such that the divorce does not happen, that, that we begin to go vertical, that we begin to look to God for, for answers and, and change in our relationship that first of all, we begin to ask him to change ourselves. So often we try to change one another. It's you, I'm going to help you change. But no, the word of God says that we are to seek God and everything else will be added unto him. That includes a healthy marriage. So as you go vertical with God, hallelujah, he will bless you in your relationship. Let us pray together. Most gracious and eternal God, our Heavenly Father, today, God, we are so grateful and thankful today for what our eyes have seen and what our ears have heard. God, this ministry moment spoke volume today. God, for even those who we feel as though we have that perfect relationship, that perfect marriage God indeed there is still work God and we know that the only way that we will survive in this relationship is to seek you and so God today we're declaring that we're going to follow your word God we're going to trust in that trifold bond of Christ husband and wife 
right now, God, I ask that you anoint all those who are viewing today, whether in the sanctuary or in over the airways. God, touch homes, touch families, touch lives. Move by your spirit, God. Bring about restoration, God. Hallelujah. God, as they seek your face, they will find that indeed, God, you are the only answer. God, have them to know today that you're in the midst of their struggle. God, and you'll be in the midst of their victory. Do it now for your glory and for your honor. In Jesus' name, we pray. Everybody say amen. Amen, 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 amen. Hallelujah. We're reclaiming. We're reclaiming families. We're reclaiming marriage. We're reclaiming communities. We're reclaiming this world because we're praying for a change. And that change begins with us. Amen? Amen, amen, amen. I'm going to ask that everyone would please stand. Because a word has been given by way of this dramatization and I would be remiss if I did not open the doors of the church, extend God's hand and heart to you. Perhaps there is one today. Perhaps there is one today who came seeking to hear from Pastor Tolliver and just wanting to get the word in another way. But today it was delivered through this dramatization and it touched your heart. It pricked your spirit. And to your day, you're saying that, you know what? I have not done this thing called marriage according to God's will. I haven't been the best husband. I haven't been the best wife. And not only that, those who are even looking or thinking about going into marriage, that today this dramatization has helped me understand the steps that I need to take. But perhaps there's one day, there's one today knowing that if I'm going to enter into that relationship, if I'm going to stay in this relationship, I must first have a relationship with Christ. So if there's one today, if there is one today who brave enough, bold enough to say, God, today I put my life in your hands. I want you to pray this prayer with me today. Dear Lord, our God, I've lived my life according to my plan. But now, Lord, I'm here to accept your plan. God, I believe that you have sent your son, Jesus. You've sent him to this earth he was birthed, he lived, and he died that we might have the right to the tree of life. Today, God, I accept you into my life. Guide and order my footsteps that all that I say and do will be pleasing in your sight. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Come on, put your hands together. At this time, I'd like to bring to center stage Daphne Creasy, who is over our drama ministry, and I'm going to allow her to introduce the cast in her own special way. Come on, you can do better than that. Let's give God a hand clap of praise. Hallelujah. Thank you, thank you. Um, I would like to introduce to you the cast. Um, also, this particular skit that we did, um, Give it up for Lorenzo because he wrote this one. Uh, come on out, Lorenzo. Sister Davis, come on out. Deacon Pelzer. And our lovely couple, Mike Parker and Aisha. Uh, 
I just want you all to know that a lot of hard work goes into these skits. Uh, writing a skit is never easy. Um, and when Lorenzo brought this one to me and asked me, could we do it? Um, of course, I said yes. Um, there's a lot of work, a lot of preparation that goes into these skits. And hopefully we are making First Baptist Church South Hill proud of our drama ministry. Um, I also want to thank our video ministry, our sound ministry, our musicians, our singers. Uh, without you guys, we couldn't put this on the way that we put it on. So I really appreciate each and every one of you. Um, anybody that wants to be a part of the drama ministry, I ask that you contact me. Um, everybody can act. Don't think that you can't because the only person up here that's been in my skits is Lorenzo. These four here have never been in one of my skits. And look at what they did today. So don't think you can't act because between Daphne Creasy and Sula Mae Jenkins, I will get you on point. So I thank God for each and every one of you. Uh, and also I'd like to thank my little praise dancers. Didn't they do an amazing job? Yes. So um, I thank you guys. I appreciate you guys. And hopefully uh, we'll be doing another skit in a few months. Uh, like I said, the preparation and the writing of the skits is very time consuming. So um, hopefully we're doing them in a timely fashion, you know, because a lot of y'all will come up to me, when you going to do another skit? But it's not that simple. So uh, we will be doing another one, and hopefully we can put another one on sometime towards the uh, fall, especially before Reverend Tolliver's uh, retirement. Um, but anyway, I thank God for you guys. I thank God for this cast, and y'all have a wonderful day. Amen. Let us close out in prayer. Dear Lord our God, again, we come to you. God, we come to you again just thanking you today. God, we thank you for what our eyes have seen and what our ears have heard. God, we trust that indeed hearts have been touched, hearts have been blessed, hearts have been encouraged. Today, God, we thank you for this cast, God, this drama ministry. We ask that you would continue to bless them, God. Bless those who are participating, God, and those who will participate, that they may reach, touch, and bless others who see. God, we thank you for that even now. We ask you now, God, as we leave this place, God, that you would be with us, God, not only to have us find our places that we left, God, as they were, but God, that we might find them even better. Anoint us afresh, in Jesus' name we pray. And now may the grace of God and the sweet communion of his blessed Holy Ghost, may it rest, will, and abide with us all, henceforth now and forevermore. Let the church say amen, amen, and amen. God bless you. Stop by the front. I'm going to ask the cask if they would please come down. Please shake their hand. Let them know.